Everybody loves the sunshine Sunshine. Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Hills Healer Tarot. My name is Angel, spiritual advisor, teacher, and healer. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. This is your energy of the day reading for Sunday, May the 5th, 2024, all being born to the energy of 18, culminating to the vibration of nine. So this 18 energy is really speaking on the energy vibration of ancestral energy and ancestral support. So how the ancestors are helping you in this in this day and time to help you to transform to your highest vibrational self and also to bring in all the positive and abundant energy as we go into this new moon in Taurus energy. Today is a day of transitions. You may be feeling as if you are between worlds, between realities, or just between timelines. You may be feeling a little lethargic, overwhelmed, or confused right now, uncertain of which direction to move, as Mercury is still in that shadow grade energy, which is clogging up the... Uh, spiritual vision, third eye vision, intuitive vision, um, as we have all of these transformative energies around us at this time. Or you are in an energy vibration of awareness, keen intuition, fulfillment, and alignment, noticing all of the synchronicities and being guided by your wisdom and your higher enlightenment, as well as your ancestral energies. This just really depends on your vibration and where you are along your own spiritual journey, what is being learned, and what life lessons you are still working on learning, what you are still working through opportunities for growth, searching for truth through meditation, building with like minds, sharing knowledge, researching and learning. So now is an opportune time for you to take a class, join a group, participate in a workshop, network and expand your knowledge and awareness, prayer and commune with the divine source energy or your higher power is always important. So when I was getting the information of um, collaborating with a group or sharing information, one of the things that popped into my mind was Dr. B. Cirrus here on YouTube. If you have not tuned into his channel, make sure you tune into his channel. He just recently did a two-part series with Ayanla Van Zandt. It, um, the first one episode one was maybe about three weeks ago and then the other one was today so you may want to check out those two broadcasts they it was really really good and very insightful again touching on the information of the awareness of bringing in more knowledge research and learning and they also um, especially Dr. Ayala Vizant gave a lot of tools a lot of tools that you can use during this time so if you haven't already done so one of the things that you may want to do between now and the new moon in Taurus is you may want to take a look at those two broadcasts and definitely subscribe to Dr. B. Sirius and also Ayala Vazan if you haven't already done so, which I'm sure a lot of us are all in tune with Ayala Van Zant and her particular work around enlightenment, wisdom, spiritual and soul growth. But I bring that up to say that I really do feel as if those those two podcasts or those two um workshops or or videos were really targeting this new moon in Taurus energy and how best to take advantage of this new moon in Taurus. So I just wanted to bring that up because it popped into my mind's eye. The one represents the energy of knowledge, insight, new beginnings, and the I am energy, which is very resonant of that new moon and Taurus energy. I am fulfilled. I am blessed. I am abundant. I am prosperous. I am stable. I am secure. All of those things, affirmations that you want to begin to recite during this time when you're thinking about Taurian energy, long-term wealth and abundance, and also generational wealth and abundance, but as well as healing any generational curses. So again, those videos really resonate or represent or talk about those issues specifically that will help you with your soul's growth. The energy of eight represents cycles, perpetual movement of emotions, emotional growth, and stability obtained by regular 
and constant change. So change is the only constant, but bringing about and having the stability obtained by regular and constant change is key. Representing mental and physical balance, as well as mind heart coherence. So that eight energy represents mental and physical balance as well as mind heart coherence so as we think about the energy vibration of sunday sunday is all about enlightenment but it's also all about healing the number of the day represents the one which is the i am energy offering you new opportunities for new beginnings it talks about the leo energy which is all about the inner child going back to the generational trauma healing or generational curse breaking and we look at the karmic lesson for today it is the energy of renunciation the chakra is the solar plexus energy which is represented of what you think about you bring about as all is mind and we have the energy of the um metal which is gold and also the crystal is chrysoberyl and we have the energy of the herbs for the day is bringing in the energy of um the herb energy is bringing in the energy of frankincense copal and cedar so you may want to tap into the energy vibrations and really thinking about how you can utilize the energy of the day to help to expand your wellness and your wholeness now one of the things about aligning with the energy vibration energy vibration is like waves it's a continuous flow it is really all about tapping into the energy and riding the wave because we're all on different timelines so one of the things that you'll hear me often say in the introduction is all we have is the now so whenever you come across this reading it is indeed the perfect time right it's all about the energy of the now how can i utilize this energy in the now reflect on how your day is gone what are some of the things that have come up for you today what is this reading really saying to you specifically for you as we look at the energy of interactive tarot pull out your own personal tarot deck Clarify each one of the cards, opportunities coming in, actions and potential outcomes, and look and see what additional messages or meaning does the reading have specifically for you. So let's go ahead and do this energy in four more shuffles. For knowledge, and we got the Queen of Pentacles energy peeking at the bottom of the deck, which is that earth grounding Capricornian energy and wisdom. It also represents the divine feminine mother, harmony. I mean, um, the energy of perfect self-expression and the energy of safety and stability, which is really, really drawing in the energy of that Taurus energy. Remember, we still have Venus in Taurus. So it is all about what you value. What you value at this time is gonna be key opportunities coming in five of swords this is an opportunity for you to leave behind fear and fear mindset five of swords can oftentimes speak of insecurities insecurities it's like the negative self-talk the loop i can't do this i can't do that i'm not prepared for this i'm not prepared for that i don't have enough of this i don't have enough of that i'm not educated enough for this i'm not educated enough for that it's like limiting mindsets and beliefs so this is an opportunity for you to truly get rid of or release those limiting mindsets and beliefs that are holding you back from being your highest and greatest version what is the story that you continue to tell yourself why are you limiting yourself how are you dimming your shine what is it that you're doing to cause your own blockages remember today is the energy vibration of this of the um, solar plexus which is all of mine so I'm not surprised that this energy came out because it's really asking you to tap into what it is that you continuously tell yourself that keep you blocked keep you stagnant and don't allow you to grow this is also Aquarian energy right we have a a lot of Aquarius energy being activated at this time and what this is saying is what are your limiting mindsets of beliefs about where you play a part in the greater society how you 
are a part of the greater whole? What is it that you can do to help elevate the collective conscious, right? One unique soul at a time. There are specific gifts that are specific for you that you are meant to be doing in this now to help elevate the collective and to help elevate the greatest good for all. So this is really asking you, what are some of the things that you continue to tell yourself that are keeping you stagnant and keeping you continuously held back from even trying, right? Out of the fear of failure, out of the fear of scrutiny, out of the fear of judgment, out of the fear of not being able to achieve or accomplish or being made fool of yourself. So these are some of the things that will oftentimes hold us back and prevent us from even trying, whereas we already know that failure is the avenue to success. You have to go through something Feel what it is to have the experience. If it doesn't work, you pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and you try again until you make the breakthrough. There is that saying from Michael Jordan that I love, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. But the more shots you do take, the higher your, your free throw or higher your um, shooting average becomes, right? Practice makes perfect. So it's all about you continuing to do it over and over again until you build up the confidence, until you build up the skill and you build up the capability to continuously do it and have the benefit and positive results over time. Actions to take, look at this, sun energy, enlightenment energy, releasing yourself energy. This is an energy of healing, realizing that you do have the potential that you do have what it takes. The energy of the 19 to the five brings you to the 24, which is all about the six. It's about making the choices to bring in a new reality, a new realization, a new way of thinking and doing things that bring you the energy of abundance, prosperity, and flow. Six is all about the energy exchange. It's all about the flow. It's all about what you put out, meaning your resonant thoughts is what you will receive back in return. If you're constantly thinking about, I can't, I wish, and all of those things, you're not bringing back the positive energy. What you want to say is that you allow yourself the opportunity to survive, to thrive, to be abundant, to be prosperous, to start new things. You're releasing the limiting mind self, the negative self-talk and the beliefs that are keeping you stagnant. And you have the healing vibrational energy and power, the higher energy of enlightenment to help you through this process. I'm telling you, if you haven't already done so, you need to check out those two videos on Dr. B Serious channel with he and Ayala Van Zandt because it is really tapping into this energy and how you can use the skills and tools to become your highest and greatest version. Potential outcome. Look at this. Knight of Wands. As you begin to release the limiting mindset and belief and you have that energy of confidence that exudes and comes through you, you're going to begin to take off and move forward. Things are going to take off very, very quickly. This is Sagittarius energy. And we know Sagittarius energy is all about the dreamer. It's all about the traveler, but it's also an energy of philosophical, spiritual and emotional soul growth. It's a allowing you to expand and to move yourself outside of your comfort zone so that you can accomplish what it is that you deepest, deepest desire. And this new moon in Taurus is all about those deepest desires that bring forth stability, abundance, wealth, and prosperity for you and for your family for having that generational and um, generational prosperity, wealth, and growth. The energy at the bottom of the deck is high priestess, trusting your intuition, beautiful souls. It is all about trusting your intuition, trusting what it is that you are receiving from your spiritual team, from your ancestors, from your guides, and from the most high, from the angels and from the universal collective energy, which we are all tuned in and tapped on. Today is a day I was getting the energy of synchronicities, allowing those synchronicities to guide you. And remember, this is all flowing energy. It flows. This is energy that continuously runs through us. Just because we're in the one day, this is messages and energy that we take into the next day and the day after that and the day after that. So the messages and the information are always relevant to your spiritual and your soul growth. It's just how we tune into that energy. We use the energy of the cosmos, which is that wave that will help to align us and guide us and move us forward towards our highest vibration good. So the energy 
or your angel number is the energy vibration of five, one, and two. Oh no, three, five, one, and three. Pages are twos and knights, which resonate with the energy of 12 is the energy of three. So we have the energy of five, one, and three. Your angel number for today, beautiful souls, 513. The Ascended Masters and your positive affirmations are transforming your life in wonderful ways. That has been your energy of the day, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am honored and I am truly grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share this video with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective conscious one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance beyond to you. Have a blessed and abundant day. Namaste. Everybody loves the sunshine. Sunshine. Folks get down in the sunshine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sunshine.